I was the first one to describe uh, what we now know as a slap tear. Uh, I started scoping baseball pitchers, baseball throwers, shoulder back when we first started shoulder arthroscopy in the late 70s, 1970s. Uh, I did that trying to figure out where their symptoms were coming from because we didn't have any diagnostic way to know. We just knew they had a painful shoulder. Uh, in those days, the treatment was debridement. That's the only thing we could do. We had no technical way of, of repairing them, sewing them back to their bony attachment. So we debrided them, and we were able to get about an 85% success rate. We're in a, we're in a uh, uh, learning curve, though, mm -hmm. because we still don't have better than about an 85% success rate. Okay. So the debate right now is the re repairing the, the, the labrum at the top of the shoulder, so-called slap, type 2. Mm -hmm. Are we doing any better than we did early on when we just debrided it? So, so it's still a question as to the treatment. Uh, the latest thing is maybe going f away from biodegradable anchors with sutures that we actually tie and, and, and tie a knot because the knots can become prominent.